guys welcome back to my video today we're gonna be doing a little decorate with me decorate my bar cart with me and we're gonna be doing a st. Patrick's Day so the first thing we're gonna sit on here is my drink dispenser I picked mine up at Ross for about 10 bucks I think and if I could find one on Amazon I'll link it down in the description below for you guys so you don't have to go on a mad hunt like I did but yeah I also found this one at Ross if you're looking for a particular one they might have it and then I just have these LED string lights that came from Dollar Tree of all places, believe it or not. And then um, this is a little milk, or it's one of those sake bottle containers. And I just have some crazy straws from the Dollar Tree. And then I have this like floral green with the little gold coins at the top. Looks so freaking cute. I'm just going to place that in the back. Okay, and then here's these lights I just showed you that also came from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to make sure to get this video up with plenty of time to give you guys to head over to Dollar Tree if you decorate for St. Patrick's Day or you want to make you a little alcohol party going on and you need some decorations. They have some awesome ones for super cheap. So, um, yeah, so I'm just tucking down the battery pack inside one of these sake cups. I think the whole set, my husband got that. He's really into Dragon Ball. We got that whole set. He got it for Christmas from GameStop, I believe. And then here's the characters. And then it has Dragon Ball Super on the back. And there's four of these little cups along with the bottle. And I think it's considered like a sake set. And then I just have some more plastic straws in that little cup. Just going to place it off to the side. And then I have these beautiful vintage like depression glass cups that are just gorgeous they have so much detail they look beautiful beautiful from the top down when you're drinking out of them they're just gorgeous and um i believe somebody in my husband's family might have gave me those maybe his grandma or i might have found them going thrifting and stuff i love going thrifting so that's a huge tip too if you can't if i can't find something like those to link below definitely check out your local thrift stores because they might have some stuff okay and then there's a little hat for the clovers also came from the Dollar Tree and then another little depression glass cup that came from definitely from a thrift store with uh, some mixers in there and then I found these awesome freaking little pots guys if you love Halloween you already know where I'm going with this go pick these up like, you have to go pick those up if you love Halloween because... Or, or if you give out candy to, you know, kids in your neighborhood, if they even still do that. Because I think a lot of the times they do the trunk or tree in my area, so not a lot of kids come to my house anymore. But, um, yeah, those are awesome. I would highly recommend picking those up if you love Halloween like I do. I'm definitely going to repurpose these come Halloween season. So... Right now, I'm just taking some tissue paper and stuffing it down into the bottom of the of these, so that when I go to add my go, gold coins to the top of it, it doesn't just sink all the way to the bottom. Because I only picked up one pack, and I, I probably would have had to pick up a pack for each one to fill them up all the way to the top. So, adding this stuff, and nobody will ever see it. Nobody will ever know except me and you guys. <laughs> So, I'm just going to add that. And, and I haven't mentioned this, but please stay tuned till the end of the video. Or at least just skip to the end of the video. You have to see my husband. He does this cute little skit at the end for St. Patrick's Day. And it just cracks me up so bad. Please skip to the end and watch it. Or wait till the end of the video and make sure to watch it. And let me know what you think down below. Because it cracks me up. Um. So, yeah. So, th here's the little gold coins I was talking about. Those also came from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to stack a few of these into each pot, just like so. Okay, and then I'm going to take a few and just place them in between the cups onto the marble tray bottom of the drink dispenser so pretty it's rose gold and like the white marble it's just awesome i think i've seen them also in like black and silver 
a few other colors at Ross. But like I said, I'll try to find it for you guys and link it down below so you don't have to go on a hunt for it unless you want to. And then here is a little shot glass we can keep on the top to do shots out of. And that's, I think that's Vegeta if I remember, if I know my Dragon Ball. So here's an overview for you guys. I put a little hat at the top of it. I didn't show that, but it'll be sitting at the very top of this. Oh, and also just to tell you guys, this bar cart also came from um, Ross. <laughs> so yeah, that's the proper 12 Irish whiskey. That's If you're into the UFC, that's Conor McGregor's alcohol right there, boys. It's, whoo, it's strong. Here's the Ancho Chili Reyes in Verde. It's like the green chili alcohol. Then we got some golden golden margarita mixer by Jose Cuervo. Pretty good, pretty good. That Verde one, I would not recommend, like, maybe to cook with. But with shots, it's very strong. And then I got another little, like, 100% uh, agave tequila. I think this is considered mezcal. And I was trying to use it for a margarita recipe that I found online. So, I picked that up. And here's another little container full of these uh, mixers. And then an ice scooper thing. Holder. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned. The bar cart came from Ross and it was 50 bucks. If you guys are interested. And then here's a shaker cup. I can't remember where this came from. Big Lots maybe. And it has the filter thing through the top of it. I'm just going to place it down there. Here is my one and only wine glass. I collect a lot of different glasses and my husband's not really into drinking wine, so I got someone get this beer a guy. I think my mom got that for him actually for Christmas, so we think it's pretty funny. Even though he's not a huge beer drinker, he'll drink it. His other I'll call it that. This is a cup that came from Red Lobster. It was like a souvenir cup. If you bought the drink, you got to keep the cup, so got that. <laughs> and then here's a bottom half of another glass jar that my mother gave me. And then this has some more mixers in it. Here is these freaking awesome cool Halloween cups. I'm going to sit them out now anyway. They have skull hands wrapped around them. Super cool. Came from the Dollar Tree. They're not glass though. They're plastic. So just a heads up. And then here's these whiskey cups that my mom picked up for us for Christmas. And my husband loves drinking whiskey out of these. So, yep. Just going to place those right there on the bottom. Then we're going to go ahead and give you guys... A quick overview. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Completely finished. Loaded up to the brim. Got all of our drinks on it. Got our mixers. Got our cups. Got our cute decorations with the lights. We got the whole nine going, guys. Like I said, keep on watching until the end if you want to see something hilarious. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Always be on your side. Oh.